Come on, we like British people here, don't we? Let's go. Um, all right, we have one final comic left. We're closing out with Chris. This person has sat and watched so many people bomb tonight, so he deserves all your fucking attention. Give it up for Chris Aiken, everybody, your headliner. That's right, y'all are in for a wonderful three minute show of absolutely dog shit material. I hope y'all are excited as I am. Thank you for saying so. So I thought it was really weird that the stork in children's books is always depicted as happy. But a more realistic version would just be this war-hardened bird. He's got two eye patches, a wooden leg, bullet holes in his wings, he's missing some feathers. Carrying this baby to your house with his final breath rings the doorbell and the baby for the Johnsons Bleh. And then y'all come outside and you're like, hey look our baby's been delivered and they brought dinner That's right. We eat the stark in this magical world <laughs> But for argument's sake, let's say the stork is real magical or whatever if they're, they're for, knowing my neighborhood, a garbage man would be getting a baby, and we're just gonna call him Jim the Garbage Man. And the stork's just flying around going, oh look, a park bench, and she has sourdough, but I still have to deliver this baby. And then he spots my dumpster and just goes, ah, oh, that's close enough. Throws the baby right next to it, flies off, knocks out the old lady, steals all of her bread and disappears. And I'm just staring at this, looking through my peephole, just going, ah, great, I was a witness. But as we all know, according to Stork Law, under 102.74 subjects in C, if you witness the delivery, the baby is yours. So I go outside, and I'm just looking down at it, and like, great, well, what's the thing look like? I pull back his little blanket, and this baby looked like he was ready to kick some ass. He had on blue overalls, little workman gloves, a luscious mustache, and a tiny cigar. This was a macho baby. But I've never raised a garbage baby into a garbage man. I don't know how to do that, but I do know how. My father taught me to swim. So I picked up my little dump garbage man and threw him into the dumpster and started cheering him on. Punch those rats, Jim. <laughs> We're gonna call him like Jim the Garbage Baby Jr. And don't forget to choke out those possums. And I'm not gonna lie, folks, this baby was a natural featherweight. All I kept hearing was just And as soon as I lift my head over the dumpster, I just like, every rat's been knocked out. He was just dodging and weaving. He's choking out the possums. They're writing letters to their dead wives. Well, not gonna make it home for Christmas. And he had every bit of trash, the garbage, the recyclables, and just separated by color and size. It was amazing. And I'm just filled with pride, like, maybe I could raise a garbage baby. And behind me goes a dump truck off into the distance, and he just flips out, <laughs> grabs the step handle, and they disappear looking for a 401k with union benefits. I miss my little dumpster baby. That's probably the only positive dumpster baby joke y'all are ever going to hear. I am clearly going places, and y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all been an almost audience. Thank y'all for staying this late. <laughs> Be sure to tip your waiters and kiss your women. Good night. Y'all been, I'm a kissing. <laughs> Give it up for Chris, everybody.